I'm Dr. Rob Reinhart, and during the next five minutes or so, I'd like to present an overview of an exciting new diagnostic tool being introduced to clinicians engaged in the diagnosis and management of allergy, Immunocap Molecular Allergy. Specific IgE test results have traditionally been used to confirm a suspicion of allergy and to help pinpoint which allergen or allergens are responsible for clinical symptoms. Testing for the presence of specific IgE antibodies to an allergen is a valuable diagnostic approach and essential to making an accurate allergy diagnosis. Today, this testing is either done using serologic or skin testing. Currently, once an allergy diagnosis is made, many unanswered questions can still remain. We're pleased to introduce what we believe represents the next frontier in allergy diagnostic testing, the use of allergen components. So let me explain what molecular allergy is and what testing using allergen components is all about. So you've tested and you know it's allergy, but how severe is the allergy and what is the risk? What is the exact source of the sensitization? Is your patient optimally managed? The answers all boil down to the allergen components involved. Let me explain. An allergen source contains thousands of molecules, but only a few allergen components or proteins are responsible for the majority of reactions. Allergen components can be classified by their stability and even further defined as specific or cross-reactive. For example, complete allergen sources such as ragweed or peanut contain numerous allergens that can be extracted and further identified as either specific to the source or cross-reactive, which are nonspecific to the source. Sensitization to allergen-specific components indicates primary sensitization, and some examples of common specific components are on the screen. Sensitization to cross-reactive components is common and indicates sensitization to allergenic proteins that can come from multiple sources. It is exemplified by oral allergy syndrome, where sufferers sensitized to pollen develop oral allergic symptoms to certain fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Additionally, allergen components can be classified according to their protein stability and further defined as either labile or stable proteins. Sensitization to stable proteins, such as storage proteins, indicate the greatest risk for severe allergic reactions. Labile proteins, which are typically dissolved and broken down more quickly in the body, tend to cause more local reactions. Whereas stable proteins, which are typically more heat stable and more difficult to break down, tend to cause more severe systemic reactions. Molecular allergy makes it possible to assess the clinical risk for severe allergic reaction, explain symptoms due to cross-reactivity, and help tailor specific immunotherapy treatment regimens. As I mentioned at the beginning, we're very excited about what we believe to be the next frontier of allergy diagnostic testing, immunocap molecular allergy. For example, our understanding of the clinical utility of egg, milk, and peanut allergen component testing is beginning to unfold. In the assessment of milk allergy, in addition to knowing the specific IgE value to the milk complete allergen, specific IgE to the allergen component casein is an indicator of clinical reaction and persistent milk allergy. When assessing egg allergy, specific IgE to ovomucoid is an indicator of clinical reaction and persistent egg allergy. When assessing peanut allergy, specific IgE to one or more of the storage proteins era H1, era H2, era H3, may be associated with more severe systemic allergic reactions, whereas specific IgE to era H8, a PR10 protein, may be associated with local reactions, such as oral allergy syndrome. Finally, specific IgE antibodies to era H9, a lipid transfer protein, may be associated with systemic and more severe reactions in addition to oral allergy symptoms. The identification of specific IgE antibodies to egg, milk, and peanut allergen components has significant clinical utility and can play a major role in the assessment of a patient with allergic symptoms to milk, egg, or peanut. These are just a few examples of the future use of allergen component testing. This molecular level diagnostic testing represents an exciting advancement in the understanding of the allergen source causing the symptoms and the type and severity of the patient's symptoms. I hope you now clearly see how immunocap molecular allergy contributes to an improved diagnosis, better clinical management, and better long-term clinical outcomes for patients with allergic disease. The future of allergy diagnostic testing is upon us. 
Thank you for your support in helping us advance the understanding of immunocap molecular allergy.